right, Gemini, it's your turn. Let's see where we go. This is a mid-December reading for Gemini. Welcome to the guest room away from the construction zone. You know, got to be flexible sometimes, so that's what we're doing. Charlie and I are hanging out in the guest room. <laughs> the Christmas wrapping room. It's the Christmas wrapping room. All right, let's see where we go for you, Gemini. This is mid-December. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, let's see where we go. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher, so ta-da. All right, no place like home. Oh, that's beautiful energy. Woo, orphaned. Wow. Yang. Oh, my goodness. Some of you could be moving. Okay, some of you could be moving. I think there's other people who will be missing you. Um, some of you could be moving. Some of you could be moving on. Uh, in the future, this Ace of Wands, Yang energy is about taking action. So there's some kind of, I'll clarify this orphan card here. Um, let's see. Clarify the orphaned card for me. I just am feeling like you're moving on to do something good for yourself. And there's other people around who might feel left behind. Yeah, look at that. You're walking on your spiritual path. You're walking away from something. Four of Wands toward a new home. This is actually the card of new home. All right, new home, new experiences, Four of Swords, a very healing situation. I don't think you see this coming right now. This could be moving on in your spiritual path. Um, you could be meeting somebody who is you know, living across the world, living on the other side of the world. And this is such a healing connection. I f you're like, okay, but I feel like I got to go. I feel like there's something. My home is the universe. It's not a physical place. Chariot, getting in the chariot and going. There's something really healing about this situation. The star, death. Wow, look at this and hermit okay this is what you have been manifesting nine of cups sometimes the bottom of the deck really speaks to me so chariot star death transformational energy here bringing you to a new level of power a new level of it could be a new life partner too virgo aries scorpio aquarius cancer this is what you have been manifesting nine of cups and the hermit energy here all right, so let me just lay this out for you. Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Five of Cups. Raising consciousness, absolutely. Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Judgment. There is some kind of calling. Um, there's some kind of new um, awakening, new awareness that you're having. All right, you might have been very uh, kind of settled. Gemini, you have a very settled kind of life. And I don't mean like you've settled. I just mean like things are good, right? Like you've settled in a certain location. And it's the clarion call of your um, maybe twin flame. I'm not seeing twin flame right now, but I'm getting a little twin flamey energy here because this is a this is like a the judgment card here at the end is about a uh, past life soulmate. OK, so that could be oh, definitely um, twins go lifetime after lifetime together. So. While you're doing your spiritual work, you might be stepping into a new practice that gets you to a new level. All right. And. It has you kind of move your home. Now, this could be very um, figurative, right? Like not literally a home, but like you might be stepping into learning a new kind of meditation, TM meditation, or you might be doing something that's a healing modality. And all of a sudden, like things become clear to you exactly what you need to do next and where you need to go. It's just like. I see it now. I can't unsee it. I see it now. Um, very healing, very transformative, very empowering connection moving forward. 
this person, like I said, look at all this. Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo. And that's what I'm seeing here. So it could be any one of those signs. Look at all these major arcana cards. This is a major shift. Okay, we know that the North Node is moving out of Gemini and into Taurus, and that's happening in January. So you could be getting kind of like a little highlight of what's to come. You could be seeing that, you know, there's a there's something coming down the road. You might not be able to see right now what's showing up, but you will soon. You will soon. Okay, Queen of Wands, that's still the Sagittarian energy here. But this is this is so much about a new download, a new awareness. Your guides are finally breaking through. If you've had a lot of like ear ringing, if you've had a lot of symptoms of awakening, this could be, you know, it kind of breaks through with like full sentences. All right. You're kind of like, oh, wow. All right. It's just a very jarring kind of experience. Uh, you could be awakening to one of your clairsentience, clairaudience to one of your gifts. You could just be opening the door to that. And I feel like it has to do with kind of being grounded. You might have grounded yourself and that was the thing that was necessary uh, for this awakening to happen. You know, if, you, if you're floating through life and you're doing a lot and you're kind of here, there and everywhere, it's almost like the universe can't get their arms around you a little bit. But if you've anchored yourself recently, I, I think during the, you know, during the last couple of years, if you've really anchored yourself in a community or in a uh, kind of work or something or a relationship even, the universe is coming along to say, hey, we're kind of tossing that up in the air because you have places to go and people to see. All right. It's not like you're, you're, you know, wanting to leave anybody behind. Uh, I do feel like they're going to feel very, very sad. Okay. That you're moving on from them. But this, it's like, I got to go. This is my mission. This is what my path is saying to me. Like, I have to go. This raising consciousness card makes me feel like that with the judgment card here, especially. You've been working on this for a long time. Why is this such a surprise? All right, the raising consciousness. Strength, two of swords, hierophant, and the seven of, or sorry, five of swords, four of cups. One more, please. Seven of cups. So you've been asking for this for quite a long time. Leo and Taurus. You've been asking for this for some time now. And it's like, why can't I just stay where I am and be awakened? Why do I have to physically move? I feel like there's a physical move here. Why can't I stay where I am? And I think it does have to do with other people. I think it does have to do with... Um, situations that you are going to need to avail yourself of that you couldn't do it while you're nested where you are. Um, five of swords and four of cups. I feel like there's going to be a time of resisting this. All right. Really going to want to resist this. This is like, I can't do that. I just bought a house. I can't do that. I just got married. I can't do that. Right. There's going to be this whole lot of, I can't do it energy. And, you know, I feel like the, the, the you know invitations are going to keep coming and they're going to get louder and louder and louder all right um i feel like some of you might actually step in to be a healer and it's going to be like i mean a healer all right high priestess absolutely eight of pentacles this is your work this is your calling your calling is showing up so you might have been preparing for this for a long time but it's finally showing up. Okay. It's finally showing up and you know, you've done the work of creating a stable foundation for yourself. And that's why it's showing up because you weren't, you know, rooted enough or you weren't standing still enough for the universe to say, Hey, this is what needs to happen next. All right. I see a lot of signs here. <laughs> That might be what you say. Like, I'm seeing a lot of signs. Maybe not zodiac signs, but I'm seeing a lot of signs. Okay. I got Sag here. I got Cancer. Sag, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, more Cancer energy. Wow. All right. So 
it does feel to me like there are people around you who are going to be sad, who are going to try to resist this. And I think because this might be a huge change in your life, you might also resist this. Um, in the extended, I will look at um, timing on moving on from uh, where you are right now. How is that going to unfold? How is it going to play out? Gemini, my goodness, with the North Node moving into Taurus, you may feel like a shift in values. You know, like, oh, God, I was spending all my life doing things in the 3D, and now I feel just much more about doing things in the 5D. You might become a minimalist. You might get rid of your big house, get rid of all your stuff, get rid of things, and move into something that's much more mobile. Okay, a little house on wheels, something like that. Okay, the link is below if you want to continue with me, Gemini. You're on the move, my darling.